Hair, are you okay? Bleh. Excuse me. <laughs> I'm a joke. Okay. <laughs> Oh, shouldn't have done that. So a lot of you are pissed about piss. Cue opening title sequence. Writing with Grace, it's writing with Grace. Cause I really don't wanna write this whole thing by myself. It's writing with Grace. Writing with me, me, my name is Grace. You guys submitted your entries for chapter four in which it's day four of Freak Week. There is no gravity. Not only does it affect your physical person, it affects your emotions. Everything is up in the air. And at least 10% of you included in your entry some sort of concern for how to pee with no gravity. And to that, I'd like to say thank you for really exposing a fear I have. Terrifying! Speaking of you peeing, you're peeing, you're peeing Europe. I was just in Europe and now I'm in New York, which is why I'm not in my normal Riding with Grace setup. Now let's get into some silly statistics. I swear they're very silly. Here's a stat. At least 20 of you have submitted chapters every single week of this series and thank you. We see you. Do not think we don't. And this is not meant to be threatening, even though there's a pointing finger. This is meant to be like a gentle, like, thanks. <laughs> we see you. Here's a stat. At least one of you participated in our duck stuff challenge from last week. Proof. Whoa. Hey, here's the stat. I spent six days in the Arctic last week searching for those penguins that have yet to submit to Writing with Grace. Here's proof. It was a long six days, but boy did I get some good cardio in. <laughs> now on to some silly superlatives for the week. Best dialogue goes to at Song of Songs. Ahem. How could somebody even do this? Lace wondered aloud. The world is full of cruelty and injustice. Who are we to understand the nature of no banana? I mean, physically, how could someone send a message to the whole school. Oh, they probably hacked the Wi-Fi or something. Mr. Kevin laughed sharply. Can't trust the Wi-Fi. Can't trust your wife. Probably can't trust waffles either. And there went the waterworks. Everyone pretended not to notice. Too real. Very good job. Best surprise, surprise, surprise goes to <laughs> abbreviated Anna for banana is now plantain. People, I have something to tell you. When I chose the name banana, I thought it fit me perfectly and I was happy with it. But I realized it wasn't right a while ago and I didn't know how to tell people. I thought I would be banana forever, but time passed and I realized another name fit me better. So I like to be called plantain. She stopped talking and relaxed, slowly falling backwards. <laughs> Coming good. Now on to prompt prize. It goes to user Fans Dressing who created this really amazing sequence of a zero gravity trial. They're having this like courtroom drama of accusing each other, but they're all in zero gravity because it's day four of Freak Week and it's just, it's very well done. Some would say it's very moving. I also want to shout out user Loveworth who created an animated map of Great Way High School that they added into their submission. Very cool. Which brings us to our chosen chapter. The chapter we have chosen for chapter four goes to... Diane's not here for a week drum roll. Uh, it's not the same. It goes to user Sarah Rose Wheeler, who is one of those 20 people that has been submitting a chapter every single week of this process. So congratulations, Sarah Rose Wheeler. This week goes to you in your chapter when Harry met Lace. I thought she did an amazing job using the prompt that day four is zero gravity, meaning your physical body is up in the air and all of your emotional insecurities start coming out. She wrote a moment between Harry and Lace where they're by themselves and Harry just bursts out that he's in love with Marmy. Oh my God! Just to let you guys in on a little secret, I really, really hope that that would happen. I'm very invested in fictional characters. Also, I. I very, very much ship Harry and Marmy. Harmy. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> but their other ship name could be Mary. M A R R Y. Okay, here's the deal. Harmy or Mary, I'm creating a poll on Twitter, and you guys go over to my Twitter account right now and vote are you for ship Harmy or ship Mary? Oh my god, okay. Get it together. Or don't. <laughs> also, in this chapter, we find out that Harry is innocent because of his dumb. -ness. He admits that he doesn't even know how to spell Wi-Fi. How would he be able to hack into the Wi-Fi? So he is off the hook. 
until he hooks up with Marmy. Hey -o. Take me seriously. Also, I love that Lace and Harry are having this moment together because they're two people that normally don't really like each other, and because of Freak Week, they're bonding over love. Because Lace also tells Harry how much she loves Crush, and then it turns into this like high school girls sleepover gossip session moment where they both reveal so much of themselves, and then they end up like hugging and crying and becoming best friends. <laughs> it's so much. But it's also not enough. And at the very end of the chapter, this mysterious robotic voice comes over the speaker system of the school and says, I told you to try not fix the Wi-Fi, Jim. You didn't listen. You knew the rules. You know who would pay the price. You just risked it all. If anyone tries to fix the Wi-Fi again, they will pay. Error, error. I know, what? But before you can even process that voice, both Harry and Lace receive a text message that is a screenshot of a private text conversation that Lace and Banana were having in which Lace tells Banana how much she likes Crush and Banana comforts her and thinks that they're, they could be great together. And Harry, because he receives it at the same time as Lace, the chapter ends with them questioning, if you can read that text, can everyone read this text? <gasps> to you, Sarah Rose Wheeler. I think it's a wonderful, wonderful chapter and a great addition to the overall Freak Week. I think it's coming together pretty nicely, you guys. How are you enjoying it so far? And remember, this is all gonna get read on stage at VidCon, so these chapters, I'm just already imagining how fun they're gonna be to read out loud with a group of mysterious readers at VidCon. So keep that in mind when you're writing, by the way. <gasps> Which brings us to all the prompts, chapter five. Here are the prompts for next week's chapter. I love the way this chapter four ended so much that I have decided that yes, everyone in their group has in fact seen this screenshotted message of Lace professing her love for Crush and because this mysterious voice is threatening them if they try to fix the Wi-Fi, they will now communicate only in text message. Did you see that coming? If you did, you were lying. Congrats on that human quality you have. <laughs> Maybe that seems like a little overwhelming to write that way, but I've decided to give you the beginning of chapter five just to get you started. Chapter five will begin like this. Banana, oops, sorry Lace, didn't mean to send that screenshot to everyone, but we should all talk through group text so we're not overheard by that gender neutral voice from the loudspeaker. I think it's Mr. Kevin, he must be the hacker. I left Mr. Kevin out of this text. Crush, great idea. Mr. Kevin, oh my God, I've never been on group text before. Am I doing it right? Lol, 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 lol. Mr. Kevin, wait, you think I'm the hacker? Lol, banana, dang it, I can't help but be inclusive even when I don't wanna be. Starting a new group text, sorry Mr. K. Mr. Kevin, oh my God, sad face. So that's how chapter five will begin. And now it's up to you to continue the chapter with these prompts. One, chapter five has to continue in text messages. And the only other prompt is that you have to decide what happens day five of Freak Week. What is the environmental thing that shakes everything up? And that's it. Also side note, remember no brands, no bad words, no banging. Like intense sexual things. Don't forget to submit by this Sunday via Wattpad. And when you submit via Wattpad, make sure that you're creating a new story for each chapter and hashtagging it, writing with grace, so we can find it, read it, go like, <gasps> add it, and then also go, <gasps> whoa, add it. Again, thank you guys so much for participating in this series. This has been so much fun. I really love the way Freak Week is turning out so far, and I hope you do too. I'm excited for your chapter five submissions, especially because I have no idea what is happening day five of Freak Week. It can be anything, anything, anything. Oh my God. I got lost in thought thinking about tacos. Can you see those notes? Yep. I'll see you guys, you know, like every day on the internet. <laughs> I don't know.